Hey Cancerian, are you ready to tune in to your love message for today? Um, of course, thank you for tuning in. What I'm seeing for you is the two of wands. So I'm feeling like this reading is going to be about an ex. For me, the two of wands is an ex energy. Um, someone that wants you back. Someone that wants you to choose them. Wants you to be in their life. This could be even a family member. But maybe someone you haven't spoken to. Or there was some type of a disagreement. Now, this person could be watching you online or they're considering texting you, calling you here. This person could be overseas or they live in a different place. Then you with mountains and stuff like that. Maybe they live on a high building, um, like an upstairs building. But they're thinking about you. So let's see what your first card is. Oh my gosh, the devil card. Listen, with the devil card, I'm feeling someone that is strongly obsessed with you. This person, they're give me, giving me the general. This person, they are in love with you. All right, obsessed in love. This person, they don't want to let you go. And I'm getting this is the energy of a new person that is interested in you. And they're so, so into you. It's like an obsession. For some of you, this is a family member as well that is, um, they're not, they just want to be able to manipulate or control you or it's like they feel out of control. So if there's someone that you're not talking to, they feel love for you. However, they feel like you're not going along with them. They can program your mind, something like that. So someone is upset as well. Mm-hmm. So, I feel everyone is upset. All three of the scenario, in all three scenarios, these people are upset with you. The ex that, I hear police, the ex that is wanting you back, that is watching you, spying on you, that is telling themselves that they are in love with you forever. All right. And now there's a family member that you may not have been speaking to because of some curse or you're trying to break some curse or you're trying to just stand up in your own life, put your own feet down. Maybe these people were toxic to you. Um, they're upset. They care about you, but they're also upset that you are like doing your own thing and like not being like you typically used to, you know, used to be with them. Maybe you used to be loving and caring or whatever. So, like, these people feel like, feeling like they are losing control over you. I'm also feeling a new person that is watching you, that's so into you. This person is telling themselves that you are the person that they really, really, really love. They may be holding themselves back from you, but they're, they always watch you. They're always kind of, like, lurking. I make it sound creepy, but it's not creepy. It's just how... It's just how into you someone is, but they kind of keep themselves in the shadow. Like they keep hold themselves back, but they're always watching you. I'm getting someone too that may be in um, some type of a mental institution or someone just further, further back in your past, maybe from your youth age generation, that they, they are watching you, but they're kind of afraid to, to speak with you because they don't know what perception you have of them, what you're going to think of them, what you heard about them. All right, I'm also getting this is like a fourth or fifth scenario now. Where if you have um, any type of obsession or addictions here, you may be here to break those. Or at least have some type of a breakthrough or a new perspective. Alright, let's see. The next card. The Nine of Diamonds. So I'm feeling someone is watching you. This person may work in mechanics. Are they fix stuff, build stuff? Or sometimes they're dirty and like a mechanic would be... Um, because they, they what are they wear a uniform is the energy or some type of um whatever they wear it gets dirty and sweaty and because I don't know something about that too. Um, you may be single right now, but you're getting a lot of attention. There's something about the birds that are into you as well. I see like a lot of prosperity around you. Something about significant, some significant person or significant other. There's something about your family as well here. Captivated. Whoa, yeah, that's what's up. Someone is captivated. You see, the word is written on this black card. So you can't even see because someone is like hiding in the dark. But it's like imagine someone hiding around a corner, but they keep spying on you. But they keep themselves in the dark. 
Like this person may be afraid that they are ugly. Is the energy, can you imagine that if it's in a movie, they are afraid that they're not enough, good enough for you. They are afraid that you may not like what you see. I'm also seeing a powerful person, someone that, imagine this is a, um, a movie like Harry Potter. This and this person, they are something with real, not like powers and gifts. Um, and you are like this beautiful maiden, for example. Let the genders apply for you, how it fits. Um, this person, they are afraid that you may not accept them with their powers, but they're so into you. They like how gentle you are, how soft, how natural, how caring, how efficient, how beautiful, how stable. So because of this energy that you're presenting, it makes someone want to move into your life because they feel like you will take care of them. But this person, they either have a powerful position or they have like literal powers that they don't really, whatever this is, they don't really show it to people. But for some reason, they're taking to you like this is a, a spirit and you're a fairy, right? And so someone wants to get close to you to get to know you, but they're afraid. So they want to break that curse and move toward you. It could be a curse that is separating this person from you, like beauty and the beast kind of energy. Oh my God, like beauty and the beast energy. Someone wants to break a spell and they're so into you, but they may be afraid of expressing those feelings to you. But you, you they can see that you have a different mind, how you think, how you feel about life. You're not like the authors. Maybe you're not judgmental mental eight of wands is next yes yeah, so a lot of attention coming your way fire i'm coming from possibly a fire sign aries leo or a sagittarius this is also the intense emotions and feelings that this person has developed for you here that is coming toward you sometimes you may get um jealous people around you there are some there are people that are competing with you people that are jealous of you they may try to like disturb you rock your boat try to um imagine like they see you working so they try to create some kind of a havoc to disturb your peace this is the i'm like um how can i say bullies for example that try to pick on you because they see that you're steady i also feeling like people try to laugh at you for some reason also that is why this spirit i was thinking it is a negative spirit that is why it is attracted to you attraction eight of ones and the devil card that is like intense attraction all right for you and it's like we don't know what you are doing you're just standing here minding your business okay making your money planting gardens reaping your fruits you could be a teacher or you're an educator you are just creating here or you're learning growing self-developing here but you're at the nine of pentacles so i do feel like a new beginning is coming for you like um a dream come true love is being manifested for you or it is being it is in the process someone may try to do something for you like play music for you this person that is hiding they do little things like that like let's say this little let's call this person a monster because they're in the devil energy right they're hiding in the dark sometimes they play music and you would hear it but you're not knowing it's from them next card emperor all right an emperor in the building so strong masculine energies you could be dealing with a capricorn virgo or a taurus here um this person something about shadow shadow work shadow something this person they may um run a company is this one they may have a business the emperor they're watching you all right they um this could be this is the person that is sending you signals all right um this person whatever they're sending toward you it's coming from their heart to how they really feel this person they have intense emotions intense feelings they're so attracted to you they're so attracted to you are pulling this person in. Now, this person is wondering what is your source of power. You may not show it, you know. You look here like the Nine of Pentacles energy, like this little beautiful, um, you're like you're just doing your own thing, thinking your own thoughts, independent, sufficient, self-sufficient, growing. The color red, too, is um, significant. But this emperor is feeling like there's something much more powerful about you that makes you a like they, someone can see the a power the, the power that you hold maybe this person they have a spiritual eye or a spiritual tongue or spiritual gifts 
yes maybe it's your spirituality because this card says sufism all right There's someone knows that you're powerful. Wow, I hear magnificent. The nine of swords. So someone is sorrowful. An emperor energy, a masculine energy, a dominant energy. Power, like I was saying, an ex. Someone is sorrowful. Someone is feeling like they're being haunted by a, like a third party situation. Like someone may want, I don't know why, but someone is feeling blocked here. Like let's say, like this could be their own deeds. Let's say someone made a deal with the, you know what, and it's preventing them from moving toward you. That's what I'm feeling like. Whatever is holding this person back is some commitment, some some something that they were associating with or someone. But um, someone is like holding them hostage so they're not free. You know, this person is not because of some deal that they made, some obligation that they have, they cannot break it. So maybe even someone would like to come toward you so that you know how they feel. They cannot go against this devil card, whoever, like, because there's a third entity in the midst of things that is preventing this person, whoever this is, from moving toward you as they would like. So they cry a lot. You know, they cry, they feel sad because somehow they can see you, like maybe online, but they can't reach out to you because of some vow or because of a word um, that they took to not, that they cannot break. They feel like they can't break it. Like if this, even this entity that has them under some obligation, they wish they could, they did not have to be held back. I don't know what this is, but they wish they didn't have this thing to deal with so that they could come to you and be with you or talk with you or at least tell you the truth because this person could have been lying to you. And so the third party energy knows about you as well. Mm -hmm. And they know that they're keeping this person from you and it's causing this person a lot of pain. This, pa this person is in pain and sorrow right now because they're being blocked from your life right and they're being laughed at and ridiculed over here like the how they feel is not like taken seriously someone is really suffering nine of swords and the devil card i'm hearing temperance you know someone is really not doing so good at all without you maybe it's because they are they have to, they watch you but they can't talk with you yeah king of wands Someone may be also watching a lot of people give you attention, flirt with you, um, be in your circle, and they can't get close to you. There's a person that cannot be close to you, and they feel like someone else is like ch charming you or sweet-talking you or giving you the attention or taking the time of your day. And it's making this person mad. You know? This I'm hearing victory and I'm hearing some type of a justice, hidden enemy. Because, you know, what's done in the dark comes out to light. I feel like whenever this person was um, causing you to feel trauma, they didn't know that, yeah, they would have to, like, lay in a similar bed is the energy. So they're really not doing well without you. Mm -hmm. Here. They're trying to send you messages. They're like trying to hope that you would like can hear them speak with you telepathically or know how they feel or something like that. Page of um, Cups energy. This person, they really want to tell you how they really feel. It's like a heaviness on their chest, but they're dealing with um, karma, revenge, massacre. This person is dealing with the, laying in the bed that they made. All that they can do is, like, think about you, dream about you, you know, daydream about you, wish, hope, pray, pray to the, pray to God. Because this person, they have some kind of a karmic attachment that they, like, are debt that they have to pay back. They can't speak with you. It's like they can't talk with you, yeah. Karmic, five of pentacles. Like you, this person, you moved out of their life, beautiful soul, because they cheated you. They left you out in the cold. They spoke behind your back. They sent arrows of all kind of arrows at you. They, sp they said a lot of things negative about you. Yes. But look at you now. Is the energy you're so powerful. 
yourself. Yes, big up yourself. That's why I'm saying people people see you and as single or something, but they, they you have this darkness. I'm sorry, it may sound away, but you have this power. Like don't play with it. Like don't let me have to tap into this power. Is the energy I'm hearing meat. Don't let me have to tap into that. Right. For some of you, your ex's family members were involved in your separation and they could be the one that is like blackmailing someone, trying to keep them, f imprisoning them, keep them from com coming toward you. Because someone may feel that they have, they have um, information on another person, they know some truth. So it's like this person is threatening someone, like if you go toward her, this is going to happen, this is going to happen. Um, but anyway, this could be a mother. We have the King of Cups. Yeah, I'm getting for you anyway. Don't worry about all that. But for some reason, the Spirit wants to tell you what's going on in your life. When you feel heaviness, when you feel a little bit of sorrow, it's because you are being disconnected from this person. The Spirits are working on the energetical bond that you shared with this person. Because they think of you. They may try to pray about you. They may try to call your name. And you, it's like you can hear it from wherever you are. You can feel it. Is becoming more and more distant, as um because you should you did not deserve to be in that kind of a I hear blasphemous in that kind of a situation where you weren't taken care of like you should have. You felt insecure, you even felt threatened, possibly um unsafe by someone's mother. I hear increase. Oh wow increase you know but the angels are saying you shouldn't worry about that because your new life is being prepared for you your justice all right with the queen of diamonds here um there's a new love for you the queen of diamonds and the king of cups feeling like someone that is going to take care of you someone that loves you someone that you should open up and accept love from this is something that is supposed to heal you prepare you ready you this is something that you are ready for you deserve you are worth so someone is coming around to pour that all over you and believe me it's not even coming from this person it's coming from the divine for you so accept all of it it's not even about the person it's about the energy that they're coming to give you to fill you up because this person that you were with in your past they didn't give you all you they didn't give you what you deserve so it is in store it is in store so as they're going through karma god is putting it into someone else for them to give you everything and then some that this karmic person refused or denied or neglected to give to you all the love, all the wealth, all the health, all the feeling of security, all of it is just going to come to you, the King of Cups and the Queen of Diamonds, right? Because someone held that from you. That's what they should, that's, you know, like, that's what you deserved. So it was a one-sided situation. So it's like, the you have to have that balance now where you're going to get it all back and then some. You're going to get what you're supposed to get now and you're going to get what you were supposed to get then right so that's the energy so this is money too coming into your life this is love this is being put up on a pedestal this is admiration this is safety security this is your justice beautiful soul so feel good in it take it easy out there all is well and all is within you bye like share comment and subscribe all of your support is abundantly appreciated